WUWM in Milwaukee. Thanks a lot. Thank you. A Texas immigration law is back in court today for a crucial test. The law known as SB4 passed the Republican-dominated legislature. Heavy traffic reported ahead. Texas, and it asserts a state role in enforcing federal immigration rules. It empowers police in Texas to arrest people they suspect are living in the United States illegally. It allows local judges to order people deported to Mexico, whether they're from Mexico or not. The law is on hold awaiting today's federal appeals court hearing, which is in New Orleans. Julian Aguilar from the Texas newsroom is here with a preview. So what can we expect today? So today's arguments will focus on whether the Texas law conflicts with the federal government's authority to enforce immigration policy. Senate Bill 4 it was supposed to go into effect in early March. It was placed on hold after the Biden administration and the Coalition of Immigrant and Civil Rights Groups sued to stop its implementation. So, of course, Texas appealed that decision. Then the case ping-ponged up to the U.S. Supreme Court and back down to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and that's where oral arguments are going to take place today. Okay, then these lawsuits from the Biden... Yeah, yes, that's a key okay. component, that immigration policies have historically been crafted and enforced by the federal government and not individual states. The lawsuits also argue that the law will lead to racial profiling of people of color, uh, mainly because the law can be enforced statewide and not just on... Keep in mind that the three appeals court judges hearing arguments today on the merits of the case, they're the same judges who previously ruled two to one to keep the law on hold as the case plays out. And why is Texas arguing that the law should stand? So, Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, and other supporters of the bill point to the record number of unauthorized crossings on the southern border, and they say Texas is justified to take matters into its own hands if the federal government won't do its job. All right, so since this is the same panel of judges that's uh, already decided once to block the law, at least temporarily, I mean, this year, but it's fair to say we at least have a glimpse of what the judges are thinking when they decided to keep the law on hold. So Judge Priscilla Richmond wrote that the Supreme Court has held for more than 150 years that immigration enforcement, that's including the admission and removal of people, was the federal government's duty. Richmond also acknowledged the possibility this law could sour relations with foreign governments, most notably Mexico, which has already come out forcefully against this bill. How is this, uh, this whole debate playing out in Texas? So immigrant rights groups have held Know Your Rights events to alert the public at large about... So legal experts say we can expect a final decision from the Fifth Circuit probably a little sooner than we normally would. And of course, Texas has the option to ask the full court to let the law go into effect while it waits on that decision. But an ultimate decision will likely come from the U.S. Supreme Court, which means this fight could drag on for quite some time. Including the family special taco recipe, and they laugh together. <laughs> This is much more than a good time because layered into that social gathering is a way to teach brothers and sisters to stop fighting and care for each other. For our series, The Science of Siblings, Michaeline Duclef traveled to the family's home in West Texas. Several months ago, Caitlin Almonte graduated from... 5005. Mm. Yeah, those are some pretty new cars, huh? Have. This is a definitely one of the larger issues that have been covered to some extent and that we know of, but with regards to this...
Sandra, 74, 21, 18. Who's written? Oh, you wanna watch it? Twenty one thirteen. Here goes seven and trying to send for San Diego twenty one eighteen. Traditional stats, teams are not stealing enough. If I'm running a major league team, I'm starting to track me. Advanced metrics? I've given up on trying to get rid of batting averages, no beating it. The impact of rule changes? Which time are violations? How can scarce? One thing's for sure, he's thinking about baseball, and he's fired up for 2024. These are the standards by which major leaguers are measured. Watch the show for the thinking fan. MLB Now, weekdays at 12 Eastern on MLB Network. Go to MLBnetwork.com for TV channel number. You can win in the National but you have difficulty winning consistently in the Neo League.